Today, a stunning change of course for Stanford University after announcing last July that 11 varsity sports would be eliminated. The university now says those sports will stay. After rallies outside the university president's office, messages drawn in chalk, donors threatening to pull back on their support, along with a steady decline in COVID cases, Stanford says it will keep the 11 varsity sports it previously said would be cut. Just overjoyed more for the students and the families. I mean, Former Stanford basketball star so Jennifer Azey has been just one of the vocal opponents of the cuts. And while she understands the financial situation Stanford thought it was going to be in when the cuts were announced, keeping the sports programs is the right move. I don't fault the university for the, you know, for, for being in that position. Um, I'm just glad that they now see that we're living in a really different time and COVID did not hit universities even close to as deeply as people once thought. Stanford athletic standouts, Michelle Wee, Kerry Walsh, and Andrew Luck all spoke out objecting to the cuts. As did Shane Griffith, who became only the second NCAA champion wrestler in Stanford history while trying to not feel the pressure of possibly being the last champion on the mat representing Stanford. Yeah, it's something I try not to think about too much going in, but obviously it was something hard to neglect given our circumstances and the whole situation. Jennifer Azey says the pressure from current and former athletes certainly paid off in keeping the varsity sports and going forward, Stanford has some work to do. I think just regain the trust, regain the trust of the alumni, of the students, and and I think the students and, and you know, hopefully the parents will also look at this and say, you know, it was a really, really difficult time. Well, in a statement about its decision today, Stanford says that there's new optimism that raising the funds necessary to support all 36 varsity teams can succeed. And much of that seems to be from alumni financial support.